Housing advocates and tenants are calling on federal and local leaders to crack down on corporate landlords across the U.S. Rallies are happening in hopes of shining a light on the affordable housing crisis. Now locally, we have reported on growing concerns over corporate landlords snatching up homes, turning them into rental properties with skyrocketing rent prices. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson was at the government center today where a local demonstration took place. Advocates and renters say the housing crisis has a grip on our communities. They want federal and local leaders to invest more money into preserving and creating affordable housing. Housing is a human right. They say home is where the heart is. And in the spirit of Valentine's Day, this group declaring an end to toxic relationships with corporate landlords. I see people being taken advantage of. No hizo nada porque no pasaba a mayores. Sandra de los Santos is one of those people. She moved into her home seven years ago. Since then, she's complained about water damage and mold, but her corporate landlord brushed her off and she can't afford to move elsewhere. It's nationwide that people are going through this. Jessica Moreno is with Action NC, a grassroots organization working to improve living conditions and fight against corporate landlords. Those landlords burden tenants with rising rents while gobbling up houses, not giving first time home buyers a chance. Because corporate landlords are paying cash money for their homes and they can bid over the price of their homes, whereas someone that's approved for a mortgage has a certain amount of money that they can buy a home with. Now, a call on federal and local leaders to invest in green social housing, which is public and permanent affordable housing with the goal of leveling the housing market. Green social housing would be a solution that we can explore and invest in um, because this is housing that would be community controlled and owned. Also, demands for more funding to go towards the Housing Trust Fund, which generates and preserves more affordable places to live in Charlotte. It's something Mecklenburg County has also invested in. There's not one solution. This is too complex. All of these complex problems, we have to hit from many different directions. In Action NC has a petition online that people can sign to tackle this problem of corporate landlords. We have that on our WCNC mobile app. Reporting at the Government Center for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.